Now that we are done with the superior vena cava, let's go ahead and cover the anatomy of the inferior vena cava. So in this video, we're going to cover the topography, the visceral tributaries, and the parietal tributaries of it. So let's now go ahead and start with the topography. The inferior vena cava is the largest vein in the human body. It collects blood from the lower half of the body. So here's the body, here's the diaphragm, and this is where this vein mainly drains. It drains the lower half of the body below the diaphragm. And lastly, it has no valves. Veins usually have valves to prevent the backflow of blood. The inferior vena cava, similar to some other large veins of the body, doesn't have any valves. So the inferior vena cava start at the junction of the right and the left common iliac veins at the level of the L5. So when the common iliac veins meet, they form the inferior vena cava. It runs on the right side of the vertebral column, lying on the uh, right of the abdominal aorta, as you see here. And if we add the liver, you will see that the inferior vena cava forms a groove on the posterior surface of the liver. And then it goes through the diaphragm, through the caval opening, together with the right phrenic nerve, as you see here. So that was it for the topography. Now finally, let's go through the visceral tributaries, draining organs, and the parietal tributaries, draining structures like bones and muscle. So the first veins in our list that drain blood into the inferior vena cava are the hepatic veins. Those are three large intrahepatic veins that drain the liver parenchyma into the inferior vena cava. That means that when blood from the portal system goes through the liver to be filtrated and processed by the liver, the blood will flow through the hepatic veins and then into the systemic circulation again. And there are three hepatic veins. We have the right hepatic vein, intermediate, and the left. So that's this one. Next, we have the right suprarenal vein. For that, we will add the right kidney and the adrenal gland, because this vein will drain blood from the suprarenal gland into the inferior vena cava. Then after that, we have our renal veins. So let's go ahead and add the left kidney as well. Uh, at this point, let's go ahead and zoom in and focus on this specific area. So the left renal vein goes to the left kidney, and the right renal vein goes to the right kidney. Now, the left renal vein has some tributaries as well. So the left suprarenal vein will drain blood from the suprarenal gland into the left renal vein. The left testicular vein will drain blood from the left testis and the left ovarian vein for the left ovary. So these three veins are going to drain into the left renal vein and then um, into the inferior vena cava. On the right side, however, the right ovarian vein and the right testicular vein are going to drain their respective areas directly into the inferior vena cava. One thing that's important to mention here is that the ovarian vein and the testicular vein are going to drain a plexus called the pampiniform plexus, which lies on the posterior aspect of the ovaries and the testes. So that was mainly everything for the visceral branches. The parietal branches are quite easy. We have the four pairs of the lumbar veins, which follow the lumbar arteries. They mainly drain the posterior lateral abdominal wall and the lumbar structures of the back. So basically everything around in this area. Lumbar veins also communicate with the external and the internal vertebral venous plexuses to uh, drain structures like the spinal cord. And it also communicates with the ascending lumbar veins on either side which, remember, drains into the azygous and the hemiazygous vein. So the lumbar veins communicate with the ascending lumbar veins and the vertebral venous plexuses. Awesome! Lastly, we have the inferior phrenic vein, which is related with the diaphragm, as you see here. So these veins are going to drain the diaphragm from the inferior side. So that was it for the inferior vena cava. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please put a like, share, comment, whatever you find convenient to you. See you next time.